side. Good job by the offense. Newton still has it. Looking to the right side and throw. And the Panthers have Hey, what's going on, everybody? Big J Glees here. And I just wanted to fulfill a request that a lot of you have had. You see me running this 4 6 blitz in a couple of my commentaries, as well as the how to block the blitz video. And it's a 4 6 blitz, and immediately out of the huddle, you want to shift your line to the right. Now, if you are running this in practice mode, you're going to have to pick your lineman off the ground. You'll notice in practice mode, they start already on the line, so they actually position a bit differently. And this goes for any blitz that you're running. So after you shift your line to the right, you want to base a line and then show blitz. Once you do this, you want to grab the inside linebacker and stealth blitz the linebacker on the left by hitting RB and left on the right stick. Once you grab control of this linebacker, you will swoop down toward the line on the snap and run back. And you'll notice in the video that I do this every time that I run this blitz, and what this does is it confuses the offensive line. This tactic has been used over the past couple years and has been a way to allow blitzes to come in because with the offensive line confusion, they wind up not blocking who they're supposed to to block or they don't block anyone at all. So the important thing to take from this video is to use this tactic on blitzes that you currently run or blitzes that are in your playbook to make them even better. You just have to be able to find a formation that sets up and sets up balanced and allows you to do this. So before signing off, I want to go over some specific weaknesses that this blitz and this setup in particular has. Outside runs, it usually gets destroyed on. This occurs because all of our defenders are down close to the line, and with the ball snap, they all get locked up in blocks, allowing for the offense to easily get the corner. Another problem with this defense is that when you show blitz, your corners come all the way down to the line of scrimmage. Now, depending on the route that the offense is running, this could be a good thing, but if they have a fast receiver and they're running a go route or a vertical, you can get smoked over top. So you'll see on this play, I actually grab the right corner and I pull him back purposely to try to defend against that deep ball. The last weakness for this defense would be that the flats are uncovered. Being as though this is probably a long distance situation where you're going to run this play, that really isn't a huge issue as if they throw it short, your corner should be able to come down and make a play before they get a first down. So that's it. It's Big J Glee signing off. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already and continue to game strong.